Hello, hello, and welcome to Pop-Up Prayers. I'm Jaren Nelson, a licensed spiritual practitioner here at the Centers for Spiritual Living, Sarasota, and I am your virtual prayer partner here in Pop-Up Prayers. Today, we're discussing cutting ourselves some slack. Even though we are divine beings having a human experience, there is that human aspect of our existence and in that human aspect we make mistakes and often we're harder on ourselves than we have to be when this happens. So I'm reading today from The Daily Flame, 365 Love Letters from Your Inner Pilot Light by Lisa Rankin, MD. And um, these are actually taken from a Monday through Friday email that comes out where she writes these letters as if they're from your inner pilot light, which of course is just another name for the divine within. And I so enjoy getting them every day. Who doesn't want to receive a love letter, right? So this is number 281. Dearest Beloved, when you do something you're not so proud of, you can react in one of three ways. You can beat yourself up and wallow in the depths of despair, letting yourself get attacked by your inner critic parts, spinning into a shame spiral paralysis. You can shield or numb yourself from what you've done turning away from the pain of how your behavior hurt yourself or others, rationalizing and justifying your behavior. So you can just keep right on doing the same old thing without making apologies, making amends and holding yourself accountable. Or you can take everything as an opportunity for growth and awakening, recognizing how you want to be different in the future and taking positive action to avoid behaving that way next time, all while holding even your most misbehaving extreme parts in the infinite forgiving embrace of my unconditional love. Do you think I'll be too lenient, failing to help you make agreements and demonstrate accountability, integrity, and maturity? Do you think it takes a bully, bullying, abusive drill sergeant to motivate you toward behavior that feels more in line with my light? Nope, it's just the opposite, baby. Let the waterfall of my love pour over you until you love yourself so much you simply don't want to hurt yourself or anyone else for one more minute all love, all the time, your inner pilot light. Isn't that lovely? So if you want to have a love letter delivered to you Monday through Friday, you can uh, find Lisa Link, uh, Rankin online. It's called Your Inner Pilot Light. And so with that, let's go ahead and go into prayer. Prayer for Cutting ourselves some slack. As we inhale, we breathe in love. As we exhale, we release all that is opposed to love. We remember that divine love is the foundation of existence and as we are created out of divine love, the foundation of our existence is also love. So we are holding up the white flag of surrender and decidedly cease fire from all criticism, minimizing, blame, shame, guilt, regret, all attack of any kind that we have waged against ourselves. However, we also set the intention that we will not bypass feeling the consequences of our painful 
life-defeating behavior by ignoring our feelings, blaming others, or rationalizing our behavior to others and ourselves. Instead, we are tuning within to know what is ours to do. We're holding ourselves accountable in a compassionate way. We're willing to listen within to spirit's guidance as to how we can best move back into integrity and live in unity with our pristine divine vibration. We are seeing ourselves through the eyes of divine love. We are being led back into alignment by divine love. We are learning the lessons presented and opening our mind, heart, and spirit to growth, expansion, and loving ourselves unconditionally. We know that what we give ourselves, we are then able to freely give to others. So now all benefit from our personal growth and expansion, for we are one with all. In great gratitude, we fully embrace self-forgiveness, self-compassion, self-love, and we excitedly let go of all that does not serve us in the highest and best way. Partnering with spirit, we move forward, dedicated to doing better, now that we are allowing ourselves to be guided by spirit. We let law make it so, and so it is. All right, we could all use a little more self-love, couldn't we? And it's so true that if we can't give it to ourselves, we can't give it to anybody else. We need to love ourselves first and foremost. So here's an affirmation for you. I am now offering myself the gift of compassionate understanding, respect, love, and forgiveness. I am free. Yeehaw, yeehaw. We don't need that burden of shame, blame, guilt, regret anymore, do we? I hope that you have a wonderful week feeling lighter, feeling freer, loving yourself more. I'm Jaren Nelson. Until next time, namaste.